Summer 2012. The Royal Jubilee, the Olympics. Even the bad weather can't stop Britain feeling good about itself. But these are uncertain times. In the age of austerity, not everyone is celebrating. For three teenage girls, it's a summer of struggling to get by. Caught between a disappearing childhood and an unknown future. This is their story. Obviously, when you're young, you like you try and show off, don't you? And I think really I showed off a bit too much. And because I showed like showed off, it was like it to keep that reputation up. If you got what I mean. But now I regret it. Because look, look, look who's there. They used to sit here in school, like up boffs and everything. We used to laugh at them. Ah, look at you, you boff, computer nerd and stuff like that. But look, look where they are now, and then look where I am. Seventeen-year-old Bridie was visiting her best friend Billy, but in doing so was taking a risk. She's currently on bail and banned from this street. A neighbour has heard that Bridie's back and is threatening to call the police. I used to live with my nan. At my nan's I had discipline, but then, because I didn't like what she was saying, I just argued with her until I just couldn't live with her. But that's what I wanted back then, not to live with my nan, so I didn't have no rules, no, no timing or out like that. Just do my own thing. She's saying I'm on her street, but I'm not. So she's fought coppers again. I'd have been all right if I'd kept my mouth shut, but I can't have somebody slagging me off behind my back. I swear down, after I've done this court thing, I'm going straight for her. I'll get done for assault. At least I'm getting done for something proper. My nan and granddad, they're like, oh, you need to get a job, this time over. Back then I used to say, oh, no, I'll be up door, me. I'll be up door. Uh, do you know how much I'll get up door? How much, mother? 100 quid. That's going to last the a fortnight. And I used to laugh and I would say, because 100 quid back then seemed a lot. And I used to laugh and say, oh, yeah, 100 quid. I'd be able to live off 100 quid. Nah, she's laughing at me. Why? Because I just can't live off 100 quid. Have you seen the papers? No, you haven't, you trotlet. I actually want to go in army. So I can go back to my nan and say, look, I know I were a little shit back then, but I have come out with some of that. And not just a criminal record or something stupid like that. When are you going to make this change? Soon. Very soon. Brady, I'm rather blessed on suspicion of reaching your bail condition, so you don't have to say anything. My army defence, we don't mention any questions, stuff which you may later find in court. And if you do say, maybe gain evidence. This is ridiculous, this. I'm sitting in the back of this police car, right? Oh, yeah. Come on, if they want to see, let's give them a scene. Come on, come on, if they want to see. Bridie was spent a night in the cells. Amber. Amber. Oh. You have to wake up. No. Yeah. Oh. Amber is 16 and pregnant. She's never been at her best in the morning, but the last few months have been especially tough. I'm in here because my bedroom's getting redecorated for ready for when my baby comes. 
So, and I don't have no carpet in at moments because we haven't been able to get a carpet. So I can't move back until my carpet's done. So I've got to sleep on the couch. You made a right mess. I can tell you, you don't make up teeth. I can tell you, you don't have a morning carpet. I'm sure you can make your own. <gasps> Sad, you know. I'm still a teenager. Like, I'm scared inside. So, being pregnant's a new beginning, and I've got to grow up. See you later. Bye. Mum, are you awake? Yeah. Please, may I have a sick? No, not enough. All right, do you want me to go to the shop? Oh, I've got more money. All right. Can I have that too, is it, Astra? All right, I understand. Thanks. Love you. Turn it water on. So you turn it on and off all the time? Yeah, because it wastes gas. Um, if you leave it on, then it just eats your gas like I don't know what. So, and we can't afford that, so... Despite being 20 weeks pregnant, Amber has started an introductory hair and makeup course. But she's also having to get used to being seen as a teenage mum. When I go to hospital, I just feel awkward sometimes. You know, you look dead young compared to all these women. And sometimes you get a few stares as well. It still feels like you've done something wrong even though you aren't. But you have. It's weird. And a lot of them are like with the partners as well. And I'm just like walking and toddling on my own. <laughs> I've got to take in a notepad today, I don't even have one. When I was younger, I wanted to be like famous and like, I wanted to be an actress. But actor lessons and stuff, like, it cost money. I just expected like I would go to school and as soon as I left school, somebody would just discover me and I would be this big famous actress within a week. But it's just not how it works. Like, you don't, you don't know anything about, like, life or, like, how hard stuff is. Seventeen-year-old Shelby spent 12 months on benefits. But now she's working five days a week and getting used to her new routine. Like, cos I don't have any experience. I've never had a job before. I've I messed up in school and all that, so... Like, most people only take me for a job, so this is my one chance to just get there, so... For, like, a year there, I was, like, sleeping all day, like, constantly just lying in my bed all the time, just lazy, cos I didn't have any reason to get up out of my bed, like... So I was just lying there and just... I don't know, I would beach wave. Shelby's job is actually a six-month work placement arranged by a local charity. £55 a week is not really that great, but I don't know about the stacking shelves and stuff. But I'm happy to be doing that, because at least I'm working, going out and I'm doing something. Despite working 30 hours a week, Shelby's financially no better off. The £55 she gets from the placement is the same as she would have got on Job Seekers Allowance. I hope it'll be worth the work when I'll get a real job at some point. Obviously, I'm still going to make mistakes, but I'm going down the right path.
In Rotherham, after a night in the cells, Bridie's due in court. Billy and some of her friends have come to hear the verdict. Because she has previous, there's a chance Bridie could go down. I hate this court. <laughs> Why? I like Sheffield Court. Yeah. Yeah, better than Rotherham. I don't like Rotherham. Yeah, I reckon she'll get remanded me today. What do you think? Basically, if you're in court 10, <laughs> it's game over, over, I reckon. She's just a little girl in a big world, trying to be a big girl. <laughs> Did they pass that message on to you? Tell them to keep your mouth shut. And... <laughs> the court has renewed Bridie's bail. She'll be back for sentencing in a few weeks, but for now, she's not going to prison. Oh, oh give me some porridge stew this morning. Come on, did you enjoy it, love? Yeah, it was nice, actually. Cheese, actually, isn't it? That's why I said, eat everything we offer you, because night before I'd been up all week, like, drinking. So as soon as I got in cell, I just fell straight to sleep. <laughs> we need to be going to McDonald's. Mate, we're just going to cash machine over there. We're back in two seconds. That's if my card works. It will, man. It better do. Yeah. That's if it works. It didn't work yesterday. Me, if my card don't work. Do you want, yeah, Chris, yeah, you want some money? Today, here, you? you and me, we've drawn them. Huh? Why? See? That don't make sense, why? I don't know. Are you going to get wound? Get some off your mother. Off my mother? Yeah. Has she got money? <laughs> I don't know. If not, come on. That's, don't do that. Can't you lend her a fiver? Yeah. Oh, fucking... yeah lend you a fiver, Feeling the fresh air, mate. Need it back though, yeah, because I'm fucking oh, yeah, stony broke. Come on then, are we going? Oh, he's pulling me off. <laughs> the fiver from Billy's mum, they're off to McDonald's. Donna, they made me sleep in a cell with you. I want my solicitor. Yeah. I used to be naughty, but enough, I stopped being naughty and grew up. It's not hard, you know, wrong. <laughs> For Amber, a lot has happened in the last year. After falling out with her mum and dropping out of college, she went to live with her dad. But when she became pregnant, she had to decide what was best for her and her baby. My dad didn't have no carpets and didn't really have much food and stuff like that. I knew it wouldn't be stable, so like, I chose to come back to my mum. Amber's return has put an added financial strain on the family. Her mum, Mandy, and her new partner, Scott, are having to support Amber out of their existing benefits. Why have we took the floor up? Because it's horrible. Moldy. I don't have no bedroom. No, quite. <laughs> I can smell it down my rear. Oh. With the house already full, Amber and the baby are going to be living downstairs. Can you get rid of that black stuff on the wall? Fingers crossed. Obviously, I feel a lot better now she's back. She's had to get used to the idea that there's rules and regulations again and getting back into the routine that there's a bedtime and we eat at a certain time. If we're not on top of it and everyone don't pull the weight, before you know it, the old place has crumbled. I went through a bad part of my life where I went through a lot of... Uh, I met a lot of boys, did a lot of bad things, you know. I've been that so-called slapper what you meet. Every now and then she has a little blast out, especially her hormones and teenage years mixed together. Um, but yeah, she, she still does try to get away with murder if she can. <laughs> She's being quite aggressive, swearing, back chatting. Um, not much regard for other people at some points. She's such a lovely girl though, really. You know, probably part of this is her stress, her age. I've had a lucky escape to be pregnant because it's made me change the way I was. I'm going to try my best to make sure he has the right way of life. You know, he might come off a track. I hope he's not like most of the boys I know. I don't mean like my close mate boys, but like the more, like the nasty attitude, the hurting women, you know, being a complete ass. And if he got someone pregnant, and he did what my baby's dad done to me, he had be so ashamed. 
I was 19 when I had Amber. Um, obviously, I were a bit more grown up than her. Um, but I still were in a bit of a similar situation where I weren't prepared to have a baby. I didn't have the things that I needed. Um, it wasn't an ideal situation either. She's got the same kind of thoughts as me. It's not, not who puts you there, it's who raises you, it's who brings you up. Shelby spent her teenage years moving between her dads, her aunts and her friends. Currently she has little contact with her dad. I'd go and like stay somewhere and I'd just like be like, oh I won't be here for long, I'll be somewhere else in a couple of months. At the time I was like, oh they don't want me, they don't care about me, they don't love me. Obviously they couldn't handle me. Shelby ended up in a hostel before getting her own flat on the south side of Glasgow. When she moved here, she had nothing. But I would just like, I had two quilts and my teddy and pillows and that, and I would just lie them there and sleep there. And then, because it was quite cold then, because this would have been like November, I was like sleeping on the flare and the cold hurts her back. Oh. It was quite straight to start with, but no. The social worker got this like charity. He gave me all the second hand stuff. The couch, mm. that unit, the telly's on the table, that chair. To start with, I was lying on the floor and then like upgraded to this, but this wasn't much better. As soon as you sit on it, it's like you're <laughs> done <in> here. <laughs> For the first couple of days, I was like, oh, I don't care. This is my house. Because I just thought that everything would just be sorted and I'd have a nice house in no time, but I don't. <laughs> mm. After leaving her grandparents, Bridie moved around Rotherham, living with various family and friends. But a few weeks ago, she moved into a two-bed shared house after being referred to a youth housing charity. Although part of her rent is paid for by the housing benefit, she has to manage on her income support of eight pounds a day. Sometimes I buy some clothes and stuff, but mostly just like shopping and like rent and stuff. How much did it cost to live here? Uh, well, housing actually pay me rent, but I have to pay. Um, I think it's £13 for like my gas and electric and stuff. Bridie never knew her dad, and she's never lived with her mum. My mum were a, a drug user, crack and smack and deep stuff like that. I can't say she's ever looked after me. But she knew in her own head that she wasn't able, so she's never properly mothered me or all like that because my nan did it. It was her nan who encouraged her to join the army cadets. I just think that in army, you've got like a lot of work to do and that, but it's like you can talk world and stuff like that and meet different people and see how other people are living, stuff like that. I think if I get done again, I think this time it'll go on my record, which means that I can't go in army. Bridie's not yet applied for the army. Instead, she got on a training course to improve her qualifications, but it didn't work out. So now she has little to fill her days. I chose to be a knobhead and go out with all my mates and do what I wanted to do, and look where it got me. No, yeah. I don't want discipline, but I need it to, to be able to carry on living. Without discipline, I'm going to be a bit fucked, really. I don't want to sit and have this lifestyle for the rest of my life.
quite sad. Like, I spend a lot of time up here just looking at everything. I don't know, it's sad that I'm 17 and like, just looking out the window and, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's anybody else my age sitting doing this for a time. Like, bored and there's always people fighting and stuff, like, because you'll get people that are drunk and then they'll be in there and they'll just be making up your fool of ourselves and it's quite funny. Somewhere. Amber's also got more time on her hands. You push it to the back of the spoon and then you can't reach it. <laughs> She's decided that continuing with the beauty course is too difficult. Oh. Um. Her friend Sammy became a mum six months ago <laughs> and relies on benefits. <laughs> this will be Amber's only option as well, so she's made an application for income support. <laughs> Open your mouth then. <laughs> is that nice? For both, pregnancy has meant completely rethinking their futures. I didn't think you were going to have kids. I didn't plan for it to happen, but I wouldn't change it. Because obviously I was expecting it to be a lot later when I was having children. Talked about babies yeah, sometimes, bumps and... but we'd rather just chill. And listen to music. Yeah, and listen and... to music and be proper teenagers, really. And then that's, I think that's why it's a shocker that we're both. Yeah. But then to be quite honest, I didn't want a kid. I was so dead set on and wanting my career at college and stuff. Even though I was being a shit at home, I wanted my career. Yeah, so I, like, I wanted to like get a job and everything and then have children when I found someone. Mm. But then it just... Do you know, we always said if we ever had a baby, I want to get rid of it because it's yeah. well tight. I wouldn't have got rid of him. There's no way I'd have done that. I thought, I'm not going to be able to cope. I didn't know about the money schemes and stuff like that. Yeah. I thought, I'm not going to have no money. What am I going to do? Obviously, at the beginning, I'm not dull, but what am I supposed to do? You know, I need to provide for my baby, so I ain't got much of a choice at the moment. You know, it's going to be way harder if we're on his own. 55 is what I get. That's all I've got to live on. And then bread's a pound and milk's a pound. I've got bread, milk, a fish finger thing, um, cereal, chips, crisps, juice, cold meat and cheese. That comes to fourteen fifty, so it leaves me forty pounds fifty. Before I'd done the budget and you're just going to show it and then I'd be like, Oh I want this, I want this and then I'd spend like twenty pounds. I need no socks. Probably about two pounds. Twelve fifty. I've left myself for fags. I probably could get more food with it and stuff, but fags is about the only luxury I get. Well, this week I'm getting myself socks. Cause once I've got everything, I've only got like a couple of pound left. So toilet roll, need toilet roll. I always imagined when I was younger, I would just live normally. And it'd be easy just to have things and buy everything you need. Like, obviously, everybody gets skint, but, like, I'm, like, always skint. Like, even when I get paid, I'm skint. I run out of money, usually a day or two after I get paid. I wouldn't dare fetch my kids up in front of me. No way. It's only them. There's no hope for nobody. There's no, there's no future for anyone. Can't wait to just get a bit of money behind me and then just that's it, straight out of the room. <laughs> Never mind, just fed him.
Bridie's been sentenced for the incident at Billy's house. She wasn't sent down, but has been hit with a £170 fine. Today, she's come to see Tina, who lives with Billy's mum. Tina's got to know Bridie well and wants her to stay out of trouble. Nana, don't hate him. You don't realise how serious jail is, Bridie. No freedom whatsoever. That's when you have got to do as you're told, like it or lump it. Keep the gob shut. It's no, not that I don't yeah. listen to people. It does generally go in the head. It doesn't stay there. It goes yeah. in there and straight out of there. And because two minutes later, you've done exactly what you said you weren't going to do. Because <laughs> she always comes back to a, to a roots, which is here in Ferrum. Right? And it's not good. It's not good because the roots here have caused her nothing but trouble all her life. You know, it's, it's not been good for her. So she's... I know my nan used to say to me, what's I want to be looked fucking Ferrum for, eh? Eh, we all them what, eh? Like that, and I used to say, no, cos I've got my mates up here. I love her to pieces, and if I could wish for a daughter, I would wish for it to be Bridie. But she's just got to learn to keep her mouth shut. Get some of that pop. Oh, 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 it's a 35p drink. My boyfriend's away now, I ain't got no money. How much have you got? Ten of It's all right. Oh, what am I going to live on for the next three days? What? Fuck off, I ain't, I'm living on no fucking eating as it is. Why fetch us in this earth, like, just to be plumped here and then not give us enough money to explore it, if you get what I mean? When I get paid 100 quid, I have to get my shopping, then me, like, my rent thing, and then by the time I've done, it's like, right, make sure I've got enough shopping to last me two weeks. Look, regardless of what we think of the government, they yeah. don't give us money and they do give us enough to live on. Only just. No offence, Dina, but I think they should give younger ones an extra bit. We can't afford to go swimming or fucking skating or to cinema and shit like that. Sure. I know it's like only eight quid. What do you mean, two? Sure. Right. So we're get not living that life. Go and get a paper round. Yeah, but I get up and get a fucking job. Listen, I'm <laughs> fucking 15 year old, I've getting done my bit. <laughs> and if I could get up and go out there and get a job tomorrow, I would. You'll never have not in this life if they're not prepared to get up off the arse. No, I am prepared to get up off my arse, but not for a fucking me. paper round to Says about me, 15 yeah. quid a end of the week. Cos your brain's ticking for something to do, and if it's not doing all, you're bored, so you want, you're asleep, yeah? Or on the street. Friday, this yeah. 17 years has not been brilliant, but the next 17 years can be fantastic. And 17 years after that, and 17 years after that. But if there's only you who can make it any better. Tina, and I'll stop sniffing. Have your fuck. She yeah. has. Oh, yeah. i stop sniffing, next stop week. drinking, smoking next. Amber's finally heard about her income support claim. It's not good. Yeah, all right. Yeah. She's only eligible when 29 weeks pregnant, and mistakenly, she had applied too early. Right. So what we have to do is take another look at how we do with shopping. We we'll both smoke, so we'll have to both stop smoking. And what was the other thing we used too much of? A bit of milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're going to have to do without the clothes. It's making the best of a situation now. But you're going to eat, you're going to be warm. OK? Mm. I just don't want to be one of those shit mums that baby don't have nothing. Should have put myself in this position in the first place, but it's happened and at least I'm trying to make it work. It's like Amber's following the same path and obviously I've tried to do everything possible. You are a good mum. <laughs> I 
everything's going to be fine. Amber will have to wait and reapply. her empty flat, Shelby applied for a community care grant. She was initially refused, but eventually given just enough to buy a bed, fridge and microwave. But for the last 10 months, she's had no cooker. I get this, this is quite nice and it's only a pound and it goes in the microwave. It's just like fish fingers on like this wee bun thing, it's quite nice. Because it's very expensive, the stuff for the microwave. Like these chips, like it's two for 250. Whereas if I was to get chips that you can make in the oven, you get like two big giant bags for 250. And it's like, do you know what I mean? So it would save me money and there'd be more chips and it'd be better. Mandy's got a cooker for me, but I just need to get like the money to like get it in a van up. I'd be a lot better off if I was to be able to like just cook proper meals like the way pe real people do. I know, I've got a big appetite. I'm always hungry, like, even if I've ate, I'm still hungry. Like, so I'm just like, right, you're just greedy, you don't need more than that, you don't need more than that, so... If you drink too much coffee, you get, like, this sicky feeling and you just don't want to eat, so... If I drink that, then... It helps. <laughs> Yeah. He's alright, I've got a five of them. Hey, look at him, he's a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford it all the When we go out. Which eggs? I think it is. Are we going to put it up and then it'll come back to us when it's older? She was a little bit worth it. You feel you like a kid again when you get these, yeah. don't you? Julie's got you this syringe to feed it. Oh, oh. it's got half a needle in. <laughs> no, I'm not using that. That's been in the smack head, that. He don't want water. He, he wants, wants a worm. He wants a worm. What about ready, Brett? got a little dark line running up from your pubic line here. It's going to meet your belly. Amber's now six months into her pregnancy. Healthy babies wriggle around that much, so it's a really, really good sign. Right, chick. Are you feeling all right in yourself, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? How are you doing with smoking? Well, I went over there because we didn't have no money for no cigs at all, so I went over there without having a cig until right, right late at night from not having none for up there. Uh, you know already. Yeah. Single biggest preventable cause of babies dying, so if we can knock those ciggies on the head. Um, have you had one of these? I don't know. Right. Don't get horribly confused about it, all right? If it don't make any sense to you, just sling it at your mum. All right, because <laughs> um, it's got some some information about you know your claim for child benefit and that kind of stuff. You're over twenty nine weeks now, yeah, so my you know. first payment should be day before my birthday. Excellent. So I can get, finally get him something. <laughs> At mm. last, my uncle Mark's girlfriend. She's giving me a Moses basket and stuff. So Excellent. So all you need really is nappies, isn't it? Yeah, and do um, I need a carpet in my bedroom, so that's what I'm going to get out of my turn. Fair dues. I'm just going to say, rather than spending your money. 
And from your maternity grant, you could uh, apply for a social fund loan and then they'll take it directly out of your benefit, you know, before it comes through. Because that's meant for emergency bits of kit. Because you can't be without, for example, a cooker or a bed. Can You, you kind of need those things, yeah. are absolutely essential. I need to remember everything, I always forget everything. Do you not put alerts in your phone? I save Damn everything far. in the... Oh, do you know? Oh, that's not end of world. Hi, right, sweetheart, I think we're all sorted and done and dusted. Dealing with the realities of adulthood has become even harder for Bridie. Her debts have caught up with her, and now her home is at risk. The housing sent me a letter saying that I've got to pay me arrears off, otherwise I've got, like, three weeks to get out. How much is the rent arrears? I think it's about 180, something like that. And what's your weekly rent? Anywhere to go. Do you mind me asking why you haven't been able to pay it? No, I just didn't pay it. I just let it build up. Have you been worried? A bit, yeah. Because I've got my fine to pay off as well. So there's not much I can do. For Shelby, things are looking up. Uh, no lift. A colleague at work with a van is helping her collect her aunt's old cooker. I'm fine at the front. Be lying here for lunch, Shelby. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an added bonus, thanks to her aunt's neighbour. I've got two nice couches, a cooker, so I'm a half it. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Hey, hey, Thank thanks you. Ah, you good And Mandy's managed to find £78 from the family's budget to do a pamper in the baby's new room. It ties it in, doesn't it? <laughs> Not really. That's artwork. They look cool. No, they don't really look shit. <laughs> Flower that you've cut out, not even that good either. <laughs> I'm going to buy a blue one though. Blue what? Sheet and quilt. Yeah, well, you can do that with your own money, can't you? Yeah. Being on my own, all that, it's just the house. I don't like it. It's horrible. I can't do nothing with it. I can't decorate it. I can't do nothing. Everything just does your head in. It's horrible. I just don't like it. I'm uh, going to move in with one of my mates. There's no point worrying about future that's ages with that, isn't it? Thanks. I'm going to get my baby's footprints, her handprints, put them up while. Thanks. So you just have to wait a couple of weeks now to get your carpet? Yep, and then my wardrobe my next day. It's all on you from now on, Bruce, down to you to change and make things better for yourself. Shelby's just discovered that the cooker has no power cable. Oh, just a bit. I don't know, because I wanted to go make my soup. I need to wait until I don't know. Uh, there's just there's always something. There's always always something. <sighs> I 
Never mind. <laughs> I've had to grow into an adult. I've had to change a lot of my ways. Obviously, at the beginning of my pregnancy, I wasn't going to do it straight away because it was a big jump from being a one certain person to another certain person, from being a child, really, to an adult. So, and obviously, it's had to build in time to become an adult. It wasn't going to just happen like that. So, but yeah, I think you have to, though, you have to mature. You can't just, you can't be a kid looking after a kid. Like, you can't act like a child and be looking after a child. Can I get the hang of being an adult before I could, like, have a baby, like? That was so much, like, I think it, responsibility, like, having a house, like, can you imagine having a house and a baby? There's, there's no way I could do it right now. Don't stop pissing me off now. Well, I've got a headache. I need to go down this payment and my fucking money back. Bridie's yeah. boyfriend isn't able to help with the pressure she's on. I've just said fucking stay in there. Don't stop mouthing at me. Then you come here, I'm not going to be. I swear down. I've had enough, I swear down. God, get out. <laughs> no, get out now. It's not your fucking house, is it? That's it, I swear down. So we're done? Yeah, we're done. Well, get out of my house now then! You're doing me anything, just get out! It just comes from everywhere. House, you're fine. Arguing with everyone. It's everything. And then I just start screaming and just let it all out at once. For Shelby, who rarely has any spare cash, the options to save or borrow money are limited. Doorstep lenders would gladly help, but at a cost, while the chances of getting a loan from a high street bank are almost nil. But she's heard of a possible alternative. Hi, um, I'm looking to start a credit union account. Yeah, no problem. Any family members who are members of credit unions who have directed you here, or what was your...? Um, your initial reason for coming in? Well, it was a friend who yeah. told me about it. Um... The main purpose of a credit union is the, the benefit of its members. People who are on low incomes or people who are financially excluded. Are you living yourself or with parents? Or Myself. Yourself, yeah? Yeah. So I can imagine it'd be quite... Like financial... Like finances are quite an important part of Aye. kind of day to day. Um, have you ever had any like any problems with like money management or anything? That... Um. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can save up and you can make a commitment to the credit union. You need to deposit at least one pound into your shares account to start it up. You can deposit more if you wish, but it's a five pound joining fee and a pound into your shares account. So oh. on your first loan, you can borrow twice what you've saved up. So if you save up one hundred and fifty pounds, it will be three hundred pounds. What age are you just now? Seventeen. You can join the credit union when you're sixteen, but you can't borrow money legally. You can't borrow money until you're eighteen years old. Uh, you'll need two forms of identification. So, do you have a passport or a driving license? I don't have any photographs. Have you got ID? anything you photograph on, like a student card or? No. You just want to stand in the store room. Yep, yeah. just there. We'll take your the credit union are used to helping people out in Shelby's position, like saving them the cost of an ID photo. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get that printed off for you just now. Instead, mm. I don't be going to like, the credit union and. Definitely won't make an account. There's your photographs there, Charlotte. Thanks. Even so, it would be a challenge for Shelby to find the £6 needed to open the account. Today is Amber's 17th birthday. With the £78 budget for her new room all spent, she can ill afford setbacks like a broken bed. I don't think it were going to be like this. So now I've got to get my bed removed and I've just got to stay on mattress, but I'm getting another bed. So that's another thing I've got to pay out for. So 
because obviously you're happy to wake up on your birthday be able to open presents, but, like, I don't think it's really... I'm not really bothered. It's just, I don't know. You get that birthday feeling when you're opening presents and stuff. It's like, you know, it's your birthday then. But, like... It doesn't bother me if I'm not doing it. It's still my birthday. <laughs> I'm about to save up and get a carpet. I think I could squeeze, like, a fiver a week. Are you currently employed? Hmm. I put currently employed. Oh, no, I put on him. Oh, I thought that said unemployed. Shit. I, I don't know, like, what it would come under. And then it asks you your number of hours worked per week. I'm doing... So, two. 30 hours a week. Eh, uh, that's... Th that's... 183. <laughs> I know. I know it was minimum wage, you know, like, £4 an hour or something. Like, £5 an hour or something. It's quite bad. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Hmm. Feels like I'm getting ripped off a bit. <laughs> Hmm. Is it them? Who is it? Who is it? Basically, my sister's phone's got pinched, and now we're just trying to figure out who's got phone. Oi, listen! Bridie, too, has got used to living without family support. I just don't like asking for help. I like, especially people you don't know. He knows who it is, him. Oh. Him? Show me where he is. I knew I had to be independent, but I didn't think it'd be this hard. But then again, it is an experience to stand on your own two feet and be able to like not rely on everybody all the time and just be independent. No, would I go police? No, because then you've got to deal with police way. You want to deal with it your own way, don't you? Don't if police get involved, you've got to do it yeah. legally and you can't do what you want to do. But I miss being at home, I miss my nans. I miss it now, because there's nobody there to say, oh, well, you're doing this wrong, or you can do this this way. If you were to start your money, then you're going to end up with no... Your baby's going to come, you're still going to have no carpet, you're still going to have not what you need. At least doing this, it gets it out of the way. And then when you get some more money, you can go buy some bloody clothes and stop nicking your sisters. You're funny, you are, yeah. Amber's income support claim has finally been accepted. Did you get your receipt? I didn't ask for a receipt. I'm richer than you, Mum. It's free money, but then we wouldn't be able to live if we didn't have it. No one would be able to live if we didn't have it. Because there's so many people on door. So many people. Are you happy that you're getting the carpet? Are you that down because you want other stuff? No. Because I'd be, I'd be, so I'd be happy I would get in the carpet. I'm trying to say I'm ungrateful or something. Yeah, you are sometimes. Just look at the cheaper ones for now. Is it all right for baby? Don't pull them out, but £69, that size. Three ninety nine pounds number. Like you, you can't just use your living expenses on it. Do you like them? They'd look nice in your room, though, actually. <laughs> £96. Is that with underlay? No, you don't need underlay. You don't need underlay with that one. I can pay it all today. Can you? I've got enough. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody struggles. Everybody finds it hard to pay for things. And I know some people have it a lot worse off than me. But my mum, she is the one that's been there every step, every single day. Well done, man. I think my life could have been a lot easier if I would have just behaved myself and like, I was not always cheeky to my dad, so then I would never get kicked out. I would have probably been at like college or going on holidays and stuff, because I would have had the financial support. I've 
After not seeing each other for six months, Shelby decided to make contact with her dad. She wanted to show him how much she's changed. Oh, carrots. Um, my dad come up and touch my cooker in for me. It was good, like, just, I don't know. Like, doing the cooker with him and, like, wiring it off. It was good, like, doing something with him. With her dad's help, Shelby's able to have a proper meal at last. Because my auntie makes certain stuff, and so does my granny, so. Oh. After making this, how much money will you have left? Nothing. I've got no more money for the, like, the rest of the week. I've only got 90 odd pounds. Like, David Cameron was supposedly supposed to be stopping housing benefit for people under 25, which I don't think is fair because, like, I don't know, like, I'm getting housing benefit but I'm still working, so, like, if he'd done that right now then I wouldn't know what to do, like, there'd be no way I could stay in this house. They'd probably be like, I don't know, back in hostels or something. Everybody's got problems, obviously. Like, people with money, they still have problems, just no money problems. It's ready. I like that. I have just made my first pot of soup. <laughs> Shelby, Amber and Bridie, the summer is drawing to a close. Still unable to pay her rent arrears, Bridie has been staying away from home. Instead, she's been living with Tina. Tonight, her mate Rachel is having a house party across the road. Beers, drugs, that's all you need. I've gone in down this cupboard, there were a glass of Ockram Court, weren't they? Bridie is now thinking she may move in with Rachel. Well, I don't know if it'll be a good home, but to basically, like, cos I don't like being on my own and she's on her own. She's got a two-bedroom house and I said to her, I've got all front decorations and stuff like that, so might as well get a go. This'll be my room. I've even got a little wardrobe out the other house. I think that's uh, Rachel's family. Well, um, I'm going to decorate, but I don't know what colour yet. I'm hoping like a pinky purple or a pinky purple and a black or a blue and a black, really. Uh, if they offer you painkillers, just have them. Don't be too brave, kid, yeah? Going through these doors. Yes, uh, good timing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll show you into the room and I'll just admit you're all right. Yeah. We're doing fantastic, you know. Oh my god. I got you. I think when I was like, a wee wee girl, like, kind of like seven, eight, and everything was so easy. Like, I don't know, everything just happens the way it happens. Like, you're only like a child for so long and then, like, it's up to you. You make what you want to make of your life, really. Perfect, you see? He's gorgeous, isn't he? I can't believe I'm a mum. I don't say my little off. I'm so happy. I don't feel like bad about where my life is. It's no ideal, but I'm still only 17, like, I've got a lot of time to. 
make what I want to make with my life, so... I don't know, it's just a kind of temporary position, hopefully. <laughs> well, it's not been easy, and I kind of want him to know that as well, because obviously a lot of children copy their mums and dads. He'll make it up to me sometime for putting me through all this. <laughs> you weren't born on this earth to, to have an easy life. But I'm only 17. I've not seen life yet. I've got all them years ahead of me.